Then let us see here. Now we are going to learn equation of the plane, intercept form of a plane. Now in this one, what you have to understand, there is a plane in this space, there is a x axis, y axis and z axis. You can take anything, either you can take it, this is, uh, this is x axis, this is y axis and this is z axis. So one plane is coming and intersecting all the three axes. It says intersecting all the three axes. So like this, this is a plane, uh, this is a space. In this space, a plane is coming and cutting the x axis, y axis and z axis. You have to find equation of the plane. Okay, equation of the plane which is cutting the x axis, y axis and z axis. That is called intercept form of a plane. So as I explained you in the previous lecture, that is if in a space, in, in a plane, if in a plane three points are there, three points are given, how to find the, uh, how to find the equation of the plane. If the three points are given in a plane, if the three points are given, what is the equation of the plane? That is x minus x1 into modulus of x minus x1 into y minus y1 into z minus z1 into x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the plane in the space when they are given three points. So same as it is, if a plane is coming and intersecting the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, the intersecting point on the x-axis is a comma 0 comma 0. I explained many times in my playlist, it is there, you can go and watch it. And which is intersecting b x b x y axis that is 0 comma b comma 0 and intersecting z axis that is 0 comma 0 comma c. So you have these points right. So now if I want to find the equation of the plane what I can write here I can write as x minus x1 is what here a y minus y1 is 0 z minus z1 is 0 that's I explained and x2 is what here x2 is 0 0 minus x1 a. And y2 is what here? y2 is what here? b. b minus x1, 0. And z2 is what here? 0. 0 minus 0. Correct? z2 is 0 and z1 is 0. And x3 minus x1. x3 is what here? x3 is here 0. Minus x1. x1 is what here? a. Okay. x1 is a. Correct? You are doing here x2 x2 minus x1 I again you are doing here x3 minus x1 right y3 minus y1 that is 0 and z3 minus z1 that is c minus 0 so this is what I am going to get equal to 0 this is the uh, equation of the plane in the space when you have three points so we are taking the point which is intersecting x axis y axis and now you find the determinant of this if you find the determinant of this i get x minus a into if i do cross my this is b and this is c b minus 0 is b c minus 0 is c if i want i'll explain here this one is nothing but x minus a this is the, you got y and this is you got z minus 0 is z and this is minus a and this is b and this is 0 and this is minus a and this is 0 then this is c so what i can write as x minus a into b into c b c minus y into y into uh, y into if i close this one minus into a c minus a c minus a c plus z into that i am going to get here minus a into 0 0 minus of minus a b is plus a b is equal to 0 i hope this determined how to open you know very well and you have learned many times so if you multiply this so what i am going to get here what i am going to get here so the first thing is x minus a into this right x minus a into b c so if i multiply this x b c minus a b c minus into minus plus y a c plus z a b is equal to 0. It means I am getting here x b c plus y a c plus z a b is equal to a b c. Divide with this equation with a b c on both sides. So if I divide by a b c, 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 this is going to cancel one time and b c b c gets cancelled, a a c c cancel, a b a b cancel. 
so i got x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 this is the equation of the plane okay this is what we call as equation of the plane intersecting x axis y axis and z axis this you have to know very well this is what you have to know very well and let's solve the problems based on this now we are going to solve one je question which is asked in je 2017 and this is most important question these model type of problems asked by je many times so i am going to deal now some of the je questions here and we are going to solve some problems here and as i explained you the equation of the plane now this question is most important one for the boards also make it a star mark for this if the equation of the plane passing through the point 1 comma 1 comma 1 and perpendicular to the planes 2x minus y minus 2z is equal to 5 and 3x minus 6y minus 2z is equal to 7 is dash now these type of problems to understand i'll send you image you know what is exactly it looks like i'll send you image in the group you can check it actually what happens you know there will be a plane eh? this is one plane okay on this plane there is a point 1 comma 1 comma 1 on this plane there are two planes two planes are there okay you think like this on this plane there are two planes are there okay there are two planes are there see i say the equation of the plane uh, passing through the point 1 comma and perpendicular to the planes and you have to see perpendicular to the planes like this i i just want to show you i'll show you by this uh, another the way diagram is another way we have we have another way diagram but even i will show you how to deal this problem i need to get a book i'll just tell you i'll say it. wait wait a minute i'll bring a book so now i am going to explain you some of the very important concepts and we are going to do some very very important questions of je so let's see here i i'll just discuss this thing okay you have a plane like this okay and for this plane this plane is perpendicular okay this plane is perpendicular likewise another plane is also perpendicular okay these two planes are perpendicular so this is the you think this is a plane and for this plane these two planes are perpendicular you have to find the equation of this plane you have to find the equation of this plane and they given a point on this so they given what i want to say here they given a point on this plane they given and they given two perpendicular planes if i want to find if i want to find then what i do here if i want to find the equation of this plane what to do here i take the normal of this this is in this shape i take the normal of this this is in this shape the normal means see at if this plane is there every plane will be have a normal like this direction in this direction for this plane will be have this direction so this will be one normal and this will be normal if i do cross product of these normal then i get this perpendicular to this plane it means i have a point and i have a direction then i can find the equation of the plane this is one way to understand it it is the clear clear thing to understand i'll make to, tomorrow some arrangement i'll show you okay so another way is you can to understand this one you have to take take a cube shape okay and uh, then let's say here this is a this is one plane and this is one plane like a cube shape is a room is there na right i'll show you i'll show you okay there will be like this this is what you have to know it so here you have so in this this thing is not there so what is they given is here they given this down plane and they given this plane and they given this plane and this you have the three planes now you can see in this way if you want to see in the on the board like this you can see otherwise the way which i have shown that is a proper way okay so here is this are the planes you have and this plane this is one plane that is 2x plus something here you can take as 2x plus 
y minus 2z is equal to 5 and this is the plane 3x minus 6y minus 2z is equal to 7 and you have a point on the plane 1 comma 1 comma 1 and you have to find you need to find the equation of this down plane how to find this equation of this down plane simple you just take the normal of this and normal of this do the cross multiplication of these two normals that will be perpendicular to this given plane that will be this you can see this is one normal and this is one normal and the cross product will be perpendicular to it that's it so what i do here i take as i j k i find the cross product of this so what do you have here 2 comma 1 comma minus 2 and for this i have 3 comma 6 comma minus 2 minus 6 comma 2 so you you can write as i cap into i can write 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 and minus of and plus 12 as so a minus of this is plus 12 and minus j into j into if i close this and this 2 to the minus 4 and minus into minus plus 6 plus k cap k cap into k cap into what i am going to do here 2 6 a minus 12 minus 12 minus 3 1 3 is a 3 so what i am going to get here minus 14 i cap minus minus uh, this is i get as 2j cap 2j cap uh, minus 15k cap this is what i am going to get it so this is what i got it okay so what i got here i got the normal of this plane means whatever required plane is there for that plane you got a point 1 comma 1 comma 1 and normal to this is normal to this is you can take here minus is there you can take out with minus multiply with minus there is no problem so you can take directly 14 comma 2 comma 15 whenever you have direction directions are multiples of other things so you can take out the minus out and minus one you can take out so you can take direction is 14 12 5 so you have a direction you have a point on the plane you have to find the equation of the plane this is je 2017 and every problem these based problems are very important asking in JEE number of times so these problems are very important but look see here very easy this is if you understand the concept so let's uh, now what we do here we find the equation of the plane now so equation of the plane will be how much what is the equation of the plane now you have a point you have a direction so formula is what what i gave you formula uh, you have a formula a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to zero so here a is what here 14 into x minus 1 plus 2 into y minus 1 plus uh, 15 into z minus 1 is equal to 0 you simplify you will get the answer that's it so you just simplify 14 into x 14x minus 14 ones are 14 2 into y 2y minus 2 plus 15 into z 15z minus 15 is equal to 0 it means what i am getting here 14x plus 2y plus 15z minus 15 minus 14 minus 29 minus 31 is equal to 31 is the answer so this is the equation of the plane hope you understand this is the way to do the problems students now i am explaining another question so here today's lecture what i am going to explain you these are very important for boards very important for je long as the type in boards and very important for je definitely sure questions now what is there here find the equation of the plane which is parallel to the lines and passing through the point you have to find the equation of the plane plane you have to find and they given a point on the plane is 0 comma 1 comma minus 1 for this plane there are two lines are parallel one line here one line here parallel are you getting it i just i'll show you once one example i'll show you so here suppose i want to find the equation of this plane okay equation of this plane so one line is here one is line is the parallel to this plane and one line is parallel to this plane two lines are parallel right so you have direction direction ratios of these two planes these two lines you have these two lines are parallel it means that the lines also parallel to the plane right if the uh, then here what directions are there so direction cross will be the cross of this direction will be perpendicular to the plane right likewise the same wise previous previous question like same wise the previous question that i say simply the cross of these directions will give the normal to the plane 
it means what are there here we have direction ratios of the first line let us take the r1 line 1 drs what are the drs of the line 1 here 2 comma 1 comma 4 okay 2 comma 1 comma 4 okay are you getting it 2 comma 1 comma 4 and l2 line directions are what are the direction ratios of l2 l2 is here directions you can see here this is the direction 2 comma 1 comma 4 here is the direction is what minus 3 comma 2 comma 1 minus 3 comma 2 comma 1 you need to understand that so now cross l1 cross l2 will give the normal to the plane that is what we get this is i am going to get so what i am going to get here i j k 2 1 4 minus 3 2 1 let us find this i into i am going to get how much here 1 1 is a 1 1 1 is a 1 minus 2 4 is a 8 minus j into 2 1 is a 2 plus 4 3 is a 12 plus k cap into this is i cap j cap and k cap k cap will be what 2 2 is a 4 and minus into minus plus 3 1 is a 3 it means i am going to get minus 7 i cap minus 14 j cap uh, plus 7 k cap this is what i am getting here so you can take minus common out in this there is no problem at all so you got the l1 cross l2 here l1 cross l2 is clear right right so here i can take minus 7 common so i cap plus uh, 2j cap minus 2k cap is the answer so the direction ratios of this line will be what here 1 comma 2 comma minus 2 so you got direction ratios you got the point on the plane then the equation of the plane is formula is what a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0 these type of questions only asking by je je asking these type of questions so here this i am going to get as here a is what here 1 x minus what is x1 here 0 plus b is what here 2 y minus y1 is what here 0 plus c is what here minus 2 so e i can write as minus 2 z minus z1 is what here plus 1 is equal to 0 if you do here x minus x plus 2 y minus 2 minus minus 2 z minus 2 is equal to 0 it means i get x plus 2 y minus 2 z is equal to 4 this is the equation of the plane which is required for this question what is given in the question you have to find the equation of the plane equation of the plane which are parallel to these two lines and passing through the point means these there are two lines are there they are parallel to these two planes so the cross of the normal drs drs are there no? drs cross will be normal to the given plane that's what l1 drs i took l2 drs i took l1 cross l2 i did and then you are going to get this is way most important questions for j hope you understand let us go for the next question dear students let us discuss the next concept here position of a point with respect to plane position of a point with respect to plane suppose you have a plane here and plane upwards and down see here i want to tell you in the simple way if this is the plane okay and my points are here means these are downside and these points are upper side so here this is a plane okay a b are upper side and c is the downside if i want to know the given points are which side is the same side or opposite side if i take one point here and if i take one point here they are opposite side and if they have both sides that is the same side okay so if i want to know whether the given points are same side or opposite sides of the plane what i do here the given plane is ax plus by plus z plus d is equal to zero points let us take this is the points here a x1 comma y1 comma z1 b x2 comma y2 comma z2 point c will be x3 comma y3 comma z3 let us consider this plane is x s is equal to a x plus b y plus c z plus w sorry d you can take w also no problem so in s if i substitute a so s a will be what i am going to get s a will be i am going to get as a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d so i am going to get as in the place of x i get x1 when so these are the numbers so you get one number here one number you get now s b if i substitute i get as a x2 plus b y2 plus c z2 plus d 
if I substitute S3, then I get as AX3 plus BY3 plus CZ3 plus D. I am going to get like this. Suppose if I am getting these, the points are like this. What I want to say is here, this same side A and B are same side. So I will get, if I get this value some positive, I have to get this is also positive. Then I will say these two are in the same side. Like any positive number, like any positive number if you get, if this value, if I get any positive number, this value, if I get any positive number, I can say A and B are on the same side of the plane. If I get these are two positive and I got this is negative, I can say that A and C are opposite side to the plane. B and C are opposite side to the plane, we can say. So what this is the way what we can say that as opposite side are same side of the plane and with respect to position of the point. Okay, hope you understand. Let us see the next concept. Hello students, let us see the next concept here. Perpendicular distance, perpendicular distance of a point from a plane. Perpendicular distance of a point, perpendicular distance of a point to the plane, okay, from a plane. So this, if I want to know if from this point, x1, comma, y1, comma, z1, from this point on the plane, I want to know what is the perpendicular distance on this plane. So the distance of AM, if I want to calculate that, the perpend uh, sorry, per perpendicular distance of a point from a plane, if I want to find the formula, that is x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c is equal to, you will get foot of the, but not perpendicular distance, you are going to get foot of the perpendicular. Coordinates of p we are going to get, foot of the perpendicular, we can say this is called as foot of the perpendicular foot of the perpendicular perpendicular okay so the per foot of the perpendicular point is x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to this thing you have learned actually in straight line i explained proof also same way here also okay in straight line it was there up to y1 okay x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to minus ax1 plus by1 plus c upon a square plus b square in straight line but if it is comes to plane what i get here x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c is equal to minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c by z1 plus d upon a square plus b square plus c square if you remember this formula work will be done an image of a point in a plane image of the point means if this is the point here it will be fall image down so the image will be fall down this a image will be a dash that is going to come so image of the point also i gave in straight line formula the same formula i am giving here same thing and i explained the proof also over there so here plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to zero point is ax1 comma y1 comma z1 then image of a point in a plane is formula x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c is equal to minus two times minus two times ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d upon a square plus b square plus c square because this is the midpoint of this so i want to find the image of this so two times you multiply you will get the answer for this and this only thing is you have to multiply two times so you will get the image of the point if you anybody wants the proof of this one in in 3d way you can post me i will explain you if anybody want you can ask me in the group i will explain in the next lecture tomorrow's lecture if anybody wants okay that's up to you so foot of the perpendicular formula is this to find the foot of the perpendicular if you get the point from this point to this point you can find the distance formula you will get the perpendicular distance and image will be how i am going to get here using this formula i am going to get the image so this is the concept let us solve the problems on this students let us uh, see the last concept for today's lecture the perpendicular distance of a point from a plane uh, or from a plane is a x1 comma y1 comma z1 to the plane perpendicular distance from here m if you want to find instead of the using that finding the foot of the perpendicular and finding the distance you can find that way but directly formula we have i explained in straight lines the formula is if we, this is the plane a x plus b y plus c z plus d is equal to zero is a plane and a point is x1 comma y1 comma z1 
then the perpendicular distance this am is the perpendicular distance that is equal to if i represent this am is a p that is perpendicular distance is equal to a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square this is the formula to find the perpendicular distance from a point to the plane now you, you have a question here j question this is if a plane a plane which is perpendicular to planes you have a plane which is perpendicular to these two planes and passing through that then find the distance of the plane from this point that is the question mark so is what is the question is given here i'll explain you there is a plane okay there is one plane and that plane is perpendicular to two planes that is plane is perpendicular to two planes okay and passing through a point what is the point here 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 so the plane is passing through this point and perpendicular to two planes then is asking the distance of the plane distance of the plane from the point 1 comma 2 comma 1 what is the perpendicular distance of the plane from this point a that is the question mark and there are two planes are there i just explained you previously this is one plane and this is one plane which is perpendicular to these two planes so for these two planes these are the two perpendicular planes like if you want to know this one clearly you want the picture very clear that what we can do here that diagram i am not doing because the previous lecture i gave the diagram same diagram what i did here i drawn this one and then i drawn this one i joined here 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 so you don't need to join these points and this if you leave it so if you leave this point this is what is this picture exactly this is the rough sketch of that so in that this is the plane is given and these two are the perpendicular to these two planes and what is they given there is given a point one comma minus two comma one and they said uh, some point is there that is 1 comma 2 comma 1 from this point you have to find the perpendicular distance on this plane this point may be anywhere here anywhere here so you have to find this so for this one i told you you have to find the cross of these two normals then you get this the normal of this plane so i had already explained you je question based on that only this question this diagram you can see in the previous lecture you will find out so according to that here that here i want to find the uh, mainly the normal to the plane so what i do here 2 minus 2 1 this is z right 2 minus 2 1 and this is 1 minus 1 2 and this i am going to find it so i get the normal to the plane so what i am going to get here i into i am going to minus 2 to the minus 4 minus of minus into minus plus 1 minus j cap that is i am going to get 2 to the 4 minus 1 1 the 1 plus k cap i am going to get here 2 1 the minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 i am going to get minus and minus into minus plus 2 so what i am getting here minus 3 i cap uh, plus 3 j cap and this will be 0 so if i take common here if i take this is common i think this is only i am getting right so k will be i am getting 2 1 the minus 2 minus into yeah so if i take minus 3 common i plus j i am getting so the direction ratios i got for this plane i got the direction ratios so i got the direction ratios that is what are the direction ratios that is 1 comma 1 comma 0 and i got a point on the plane that is the point on the plane is 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 then the equation of the plane is 1 into x minus 1 plus 1 into y minus a into x minus x1 formula a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 this is the formula is equal to 0 this is a b c this, these are a b c and this is x1 y1 z1 that what i am substituting here so a here a is 1 1 into x minus 1 plus b 1 into y minus y minus 2 plus z is here z is here c is 0 so so you are getting the equation of the plane how i uh, how i am getting the equation of the plane here equation of the plane i am getting x minus 1 plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 it means i am getting x plus y uh, i am getting uh, minus uh, plus 1 is equal to 0 
this is the equation of the plane I got. Z concept is not, is, Z is 0, no problem, it is here equation of the plane. So you got the equation of the plane, you have an equation of the plane, you have to find the distance. Distance you have to find from this which point 1 comma 2 comma 1. From this point I have to find the perpendicular distance and you have this plane that is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. You just substitute perpendicular distance is equal to a. Here a is 1 if you compare this with the plane equation a is 1, b is 1 if you compare with this is and with this a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 0 sorry d is equal to 1 you can just compare a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to 0 you compare x plus y plus 1 equal to 0 a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 0 because there is zone z concept and d is equal to 1 and substitute in this formula so what i am going to get here 1 into this is x1 this is y1 and this is z1 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 and uh, plus 0 into 0 into what I am going to get here 0 into 1 uh, plus d is here 1 upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square a square is 1 b square is 1 plus c square is 0 so the answer is 1 ones are 1 plus 2 ones are 2 plus 1 upon square root of 2 that I am going to get as 4 upon root 2 that is I am going to get as 2 into 2 upon root 2 so here I can cancel root 2 times so the answer is 2 root 2 is the answer so the answer is 2 root 2 so we have finished today's lecture till then take a bye bye we'll meet you tomorrow